What is shaking my homies? Today, we got a really cool short and sweet yo-yo review. We don't got an unboxing. It's an old yo-yo. I got it in a trade. Now this is the Arbor from Low-Key Throws. Not a very unique yo-yo. I believe it came out like five or six years ago or something. But I mean, check this out. It's got like freaking hardwood flooring on the side of it. Like what the hell is this? Pretty cool. I believe this is walnut. I think it was also available in like maple and maybe some other woods as well. Um, very, very wide gapped yo-yo as you can see here. Big step up. Uh, we'll put the dimensions, all the specs right there. But the real reason you guys watch these videos is to see how they play, right? And um, you know, what good is a yo-yo if you can't play with it? So here goes nothing. I actually have not thrown this. I got this in a trade. It's been sitting on my table until right now when we film the video. So here goes nothing. On string, it feels, feels pretty good, but it definitely has a vibe to it. That's for sure. Um, once it, whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't like how that felt. I don't know if it's from the wooden cap, the yo-yo in general, but not only do I feel the vibe, I hear the vibe too. Almost like that. I don't think the wood is loose, but I think the, I'm pretty sure the vibe is coming from the wood. I mean, I don't, I really don't know, but yeah, it definitely has a vibe to it. So already not off to a good start. I was expecting the wide gap for me to not like it that much, the gap at least. I've never been a huge fan of super wide gap yo-yos. Yeah, I can still do most binds and stuff. A lot of times, you know, I grew up on yo-yos like freaking Duncan freehand and stuff with size A bearings. And I learned how to do like whip tricks on little bearings and stuff again. Sometimes when I use these huge bearing yo-yos, or not huge bearing yo-yos, I mean like huge gap, large bearing yo-yos with big step ups. It just feels like unnecessary to me. and. I don't know, it feels like sometimes like my binds get too loose, but this, one, this one's still nice and tight. Um, I believe this yo-yo was like 50 or 60 bucks. Um, yeah. Yeah, but I, I mean, even on everything, I'm feeling the vibe. I'm feeling it on, the, like a lot of times you feel vibe on uh, the yo-yo, like, you know, when you touch it, but you don't feel it on the string. I feel this on the string too, like I can 100% feel it. And I have no idea if this was a B grade or anything, but I watched a uh, Tokyo yo review on this just to kind of like figure out what the heck this yo-yo was before I played with it and his head vibe too. Um, not sure if it was as bad as this one, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's not horrible, but to my standards, yeah, it's definitely, definitely more than I find acceptable. Uh, maybe I'm just a snob with stuff like that, but uh, I don't know, I feel like in this day and age, yo-yos are too good to be making them with vibe. There's too many yo-yos on the market that are dead smooth, even at low price points. Like, like for example, Magic Yo-Yo makes some like freaking $10 yo-yos that are dead smooth, so I don't know why. This is very cool. I don't have any yo-yos with like wood on it. Very, very unique. Um, to me, this is more of like a collection piece. Oops. Than any, I mean, it's the vibe is like annoying me. Where it's making stuff is like, I'm thinking about the vibe instead of thinking about the tricks. I mean, you, I can still handle everything. Not the longest spinning yo-yo in the world either. Um, also too, I really love the look of the wood, but I'm not the biggest fan of having caps. Like, I mean, yeah, I like the Duncan freehand and stuff, but other than that, I like the, you know, if you want to do a finger spin or you want to do a thumb grind, I do really always like that. Um, I like having the options even when I'm not going to do it. Um, just cause, you know, whatever I want. Better to, you know, have the tool and not have to use it than to need to use the tool and not have it, you know? Get what I'm saying, guys? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Still, the shot, the shy, the size, whoa, come on. What the heck? The size and shape is very nice. Um, not the biggest fan of the huge gap, but once again, on this yo-yo, it seems to work, so I can't really say there's anything wrong about it having a big giant gap. But yeah, overall, I must say, not the best yo-yo I've reviewed lately, but I should give it a little slack. I mean, it is old. Um, once again, this company is low key throws and I have no idea if they made any other yo-yos besides this, if this was like the only yo-yo they ever made. Um, and you know, it's still cool to see like small companies making yo-yos and everything. Um, but 
Yeah, definitely not the best yo-yo we've reviewed on the channel. Like, look at this freaking thing. It's just like, I mean, you could, the vibe isn't ridiculous, but it's not acceptable, I don't think, in a, any yo-yos made after 2007, whenever the 888 came out, I believe that was the yo-yo that really set the bar on, uh, on you know, yo-yos being nice, dead smooth and stuff. At that point, basically every yo-yo ever made had vibe. But after that, it's really hard to get behind a yo-yo that, that vibes. I mean, if this thing was like 10 bucks or something maybe, but yeah, I don't know. Even at the 50, 60 price range or whatever this thing retailed for, that's uh, too much for me. I don't know. Kind of frustrating though, because I was expecting this to be such a good freaking yo-yo. Does flop very good. It's very stable, um, despite having vibe. The weight distribution on the yo-yo is really nice. This is one of those yo-yos where I, I like to wonder, like, if I just took the caps off, would it be better? I don't know, but I feel like these caps, you probably ruin them trying to take them off. I don't even know if you can take them off. And I don't really want to try. Uh, we'll take a look at the guts, because I don't even know what the hell this thing has on it. Once again, there's not a mark on this yo-yo. Shout out to Richard Norris for hooking it up with this in the trade. I'm still, you know, not unpleased with the trade or anything. You know, it's totally super cool. Oh, and there goes my axle. So a little tiny five millimeter axle, maybe even smaller, super tiny axle, which could be part of the reason why it's got such a bad vibe. But a lot of you guys use small axles like this and they still don't really vibe. It's got a center track bearing. Uh, here's all the guts, but yeah overall not the best yo in the world super unique super cool great collection piece um and i do think it's you know i i don't want to be feel like i'm just crapping on this yo, yo i just i just do not like I mean, it doesn't even want to screw together smoothly i'm scared i'm going to strip it come on nice and easy I don't know, maybe if I stripped it, it would actually play better. <laughs> no, um, not horrible. Not a horrible yo-yo, but by no means up to the standards of 2023. Granted, it came out in like 2017 or 2018 or something, so. But I think even back then, I mean, there was a lot of good yo-yos out. I mean, you know, even at the cheap price points, like we had the hot diggities out, $25, dead smooth, right out of the box. Get a wall, it's hot, baby. Um, those are actually available on Yo-Yo Sam right now. New colorways uh, and everything, so definitely check those out, but, um, yeah, I, I think, whew, still really cool, really unique yo-yo, but by no means you're going to use this in a competition or anything. Good collection piece, good conversation piece, like you ever seen a yo-yo with wood sides? I sure haven't. Um, just, you know, wanted to keep it short and sweet. Thank you guys for watching, um, and uh, yeah, that's really it. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you got any other like weird, unique yo-yos, if there's any other yo-yos that have like wood caps and stuff that are actually like play really well and stuff, uh, let me know. Also, no, I, I think there was an Arbor too, so let me know down below if that's better, if it doesn't vibe, or what. So, uh, and who knows? Maybe I'll check out some more uh, low-key throw yo-yos. Maybe I won't. Either way, whatever. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.